At the end of each month, we look back at the work done in your Knox County government and how Knox County is the best place to live, work, build a business, and raise a family. In honor of National Veterans and Military Families Month, Knox County Mayor Glenn Jacobs began November with a new video series highlighting military veterans who teach in Knox County schools. You can find the videos on social media and on our homepage at knoxcounty.org. November was also Diabetes Awareness Month, which meant another athletic challenge with Knox County Commission Chair Courtney Durrett. The two competed in a pickleball match at Carl Cowan Park, promoting healthy choices and active lifestyles to help combat a disease that impacts one in 10 Americans. Speaking of impacts, the Knox County Engineering and Public Works Department and Mayor Jacobs cut the ribbon on a new Hardin Valley roundabout. The new addition allows for safer traffic and less congestion in a growing part of Knox County. Jessica Sexton from Senior Services and Miracle Chandler from EPW were named as November's Employees of the Month. Finally, the Parks and Rec Department was hard at work closing out November as they installed the lights at the Cove at Concord Park for the upcoming 24th Annual Festival of Lights. The free month-long event begins December 1st when Mayor Jacobs cuts the ribbon and hands out candy canes. Donations are welcome and will once again benefit the Love Kitchen. Thanks for following along. We look forward to another great month in Knox County Government.